my name is Diane. Welcome to my channel. I have been writing articles and books to help empaths for over 10 years. As you may have noticed, this is not my real voice. I explain why, and the reason I set up this channel, in the show notes. But for now, sit back and enjoy today's installment. Have you ever wondered how the fear of failure impacts your life as an empath? What about the fear of being judged? Did you know that because they tend to feel the judgments and disapprovals of others, many empaths are held back from following their true destiny? And the sad part is, a lot of the time they don't even realize this is happening. We all know that the energy of critical opinions does not feel good, but the last thing we want is for it to hold us back in life. Some time ago I came across an article that really resonated with me. It was about a woman's realization of how she had imprisoned herself with the fear of shame and failure through other people's judgments. The business she owned had not been making any money for a long time. It was bleeding her dry. But because she was so worried of being labeled as a failure, she continued to fight to save the company. By holding on, however, she was getting into more debt, becoming more stressed and unhappier. Being so caught up with the idea of being seen as unsuccessful, she did not listen to the quiet voice within, telling her it was okay to let go. Instead, she was tortured by the loud irrational voice of her ego, telling her she must continue to hold on to her business at all costs, because failure was too shameful, and she needed the business to justify her place in society. When she eventually listened to the quiet voice, and filed for bankruptcy, she felt a huge relief and an incredible sense of freedom. Finally, she saw that it was her own fear of judgments that had kept her imprisoned and not the failing business, or the judgments of others. The quiet voice inside me has often drawn my attention to this issue, in that it's okay to be wrong, or it's okay to allow myself to make a mistake, and it really doesn't matter what others think of who I am, what I do or don't do. And it's okay to be rejected for not fitting into the box of others' expectations. As long as I continue to work to be the best I can be, without harm to others, the mistakes or fails I make along the way are for me to learn from. It is part of my destiny and my life experience. If we are honest, the pressures of social and tribal acceptance are probably some of the biggest hurdles we have to overcome. Prisons are created from the worries we have about what others think of us, as well as the fear that we'll be rejected if we are different or don't fit in. How many people change their looks or personality to fit into the so-called societal norm? I think we've all been guilty of it at some point for one reason or another. We can be so desperate to be accepted, that we may hide our brilliant unique selves in the hope we will not be judged. A quote that relates to this is, it is better to be despised for being who you truly are, than to be loved for being someone you are not. Clearly, there is a very good reason for empaths to be held back in life for the fear of judgment. We've seen what happens to those who don't comply with societal norms, or those who think outside the box, and are gallant enough to share their thoughts with the world. They often get ridiculed, and that includes freethinkers, those who question authority, those who are deemed a bit woo-woo, and anyone who can see the bigger picture. Humans can be incredibly cruel and vindictive. I have never-ending respect for anyone who continues to stand up for what they believe in, even when it goes against the crowd, and especially when they are standing up for fellow humans in a non-violent way. It takes bravery to stand up to others and it takes bravery to move forward in life when we know that we are being judged for our endeavors. So, to get back to my initial point. We all make mistakes and humiliating things happen to everyone, but in this world, it just seems so shameful to admit to it. We need to give ourselves permission to fail and we must remind ourselves that each of us is on our own journey. If others want to judge or criticize us, then they are trapped in their own prison of suppression. Often the biggest judges are the ones who do not want others to succeed. Some of the unhappiest people I have known have been the biggest fault finders, and they certainly haven't been the winners in life. So, it's super important that we don't allow the criticizers of the world to govern us through our insecurities. If we fail at something, it is our failure, something for us to learn from, that also shows us how not to do something in the future. I'm not saying aim to fail, 
but we should not allow the fear of failure to hold us back from taking risks. This helps us grow in incredible ways. So, if as an empath, you find yourself holding back in life because you can feel the heavy energy of being judged or ridiculed for your actions, remember this, we all make mistakes, and through those mistakes we learn. When we stop worrying what others think, we can continue to surge forward, being true to ourselves, and following our own dreams and destiny. This is your life, and it's to be lived the way you want it to be lived. Let the judges sit in their judgments, and be free to be who you want to be. Okay, that's it for today's episode. Hope it helps on your journey. Remember, if you want to learn more about becoming an empowered empath, visit my blog where there are hundreds of free articles written just for empaths.